The People's Democratic Party, PDP in Ogun State, is gradually regaining its strong position as a major political party and opposition in Ogun State. The party is in the process of reconciliation that is expected to bring together the two major factions, the Bayadayale Executive and Sikurulai Gundele Executive, as one. PDP in Ogun State started having parallel executive committees as far back as 2003 with the Selmi Shudipo led parallel executive and Chief Georgiou Fadairo executive. I was made the chairman of the parallel school. I was made the chairman of the parallel school against Georgiou Fadairo. So while we are struggling, I ran across him and we accepted to have the parallel school. And it did need a lot of efforts to do the parallel school. This ugly development of one faction brought this unity into the party and has led to the failure of the party in the 2011, 2015 and 2019 general elections. The Bayadaya led executive committee backed by a court judgment obtained in 2016 will be completing its term by 9th of May 2020 in its bid to leave office peacefully and hand over a united political party. Engineer Bayodayo commenced a reconciliation process with the Sikri Lai Ogudelele executive, lawyer to Honorable Oladipopo Adebutu, with the aim of having a one united PDP. This move by Engineer Bayodayo was embraced by the Sikri Lai Ogudelele executive. The move was expected to be welcomed by all who desired the progress and victory of the party in future elections. Unfortunately, the reconciliation move by Engineer Bayodayo did not go down well with the former Ogun East Senator and leader of Adebayo led executive, Senator Buruji Kashamu, who began a serious battle against Engineer Bayo Dayo. The first battle was the pronouncement of Engineer Bayo Dayo's suspension as the chairman of the party. Thereafter, a lot of fraudulent accusations were made against the person of Engineer Adebayo Dayo, which were also published in a national newspaper by Senator Buruji Kasham. For the purpose of clarity and putting the unfolded accusation in proper perspective, Engineer Bayodayo responds to the unfolded accusations made by Senator Buruji Kasham and other issues. On the report that has been removed as the Ogun State Chairman of People's Democratic Party, he has this to say. A lot of people do not know me. They see me as a stuji to Buruji Kasham, and they believe that I will always do whatever Buruji Kasham wants. Uh, it is not so. A lot of people are even saying that we are not giving him the, the, the correct advice. We advise him a lot, but he does not listen. As far as I am concerned, I have my integrity. If you like, you can ask our leader, OGD. When we were conducting his Congress in 2002 in Abekuta, he offered me a lot. And Doyo Kupwe has nothing to offer. But I still stayed with Doyo Kupwe, even though I knew we were going to lose. When, it's, when it comes to politics, I am a very stubborn politician. And wherever I sit down, I always stay there. So it is only during this lockdown I started thinking. And I said I have been the chairman now for eight years. And what have I got to tell people that I have achieved in the eight years in office? Then I started thinking of reconciliation. And good enough, uh, Lado Group sent messages to us and I called some elders to come with me. And we met and we discussed how we can reconciliate the whole issue between our group and Lado group. And we went to Bruji Kasham to tell him that um, we are conducting and trying to negotiate with Lado group so that the two groups can become one. He said he has no objection, but we must first of all go ahead and conclude the congresses. Then I said, how can we conclude the congresses when, as a matter of fact, 
we are trying to share the position between the two groups. He said we must go on with our congresses. We did the World Congress. We did the Local Government Congress. Then somebody enlightened me that did I know that I am committing an offense that the two court pronouncements that we had in Abekuta and Abuja, they said we should maintain status quo. Then I said, I have consulted our lawyer, and he said we can go ahead with the, we can go ahead with the Congresses. He then occurred to me that I am playing with uh, the pronouncements, and I do, want, I do not want to go to jail. And that is why I said, we cannot, I cannot be involved in the state Congress. Even though I was giving papers to sign that we have concluded the state Congress, but I said, I cannot sign any paper because of this uh, lockdown. Where will I say I conduct the state Congress? When, as a matter of fact, there are regulations that we should not be more than 10 or 20 at the most at this period of time. So I said I cannot write any letter to INEC telling them that we have concluded the state Congress. But what I am doing is negotiating on behalf of Buruji Group. I will be negotiating with elders of the party with the elders of Ladu Group and come to conclusion, it does not matter whether um, Ladia Debutu wants to be governor or not. But I have told him that if truly he wants to be governor, he is going to, be, to spend a lot of money. But I have not collected a penny from anybody. I told him, if you want to be a governor, it is uh, just logical that you are going to spend a lot of money but not on me, and it is not during this time when we are negotiating the true position of the party at the world, local government, and the state level. If I collect money from anybody, how then will I be able to represent my group in, in the sharing of positions? I did not collect a penny from Ladi Adebutu, and that I have said on many, many, Engineer Bayadayo commented on the process of his purported remover as the state chairman of PDP. Well, I don't know the people that are saying that. The fact remains that um, Bang Boshe is, was um, elected as an uh, assistant auditor when we had our Congress in 2016. And he is not a member of the state working committee. I don't know when he promoted himself to be the acting chairman of the party. Only two days ago, I still have a meeting with the authentic state officers of the party. And um, I can show you, if I had known I will have brought out the paper they signed when they were taking the oath of office and the oath of allegiance. I have the original copy of the state officers that sworn in in 2016. All others are just um, uh, political jobbers of Senator Buruji Kasham. There is no other uh, working committee in Ogun State than the one led by myself and um, Semi Ushodigo. They do not have the power to remove me because as a chairman of the party, I am a member of the National Executive Council. And when I am a member, any member of the National Executive Committee cannot be disciplined by any organ of the party, except the National Executive Committee. Incidentally, 
Senator Obuluji Kashamu does not belong to any organ of the party. So you cannot pronounce my suspension or anything that has to do with discipline as far as the state chairman is concerned. Having come a long way with Senator Buruji Kashamu, which is also the public opinion, Engineer Bayodayo gave an insight to his relationship with Senator Buruji Kashamu. Well, we have been together for close to 11 years now. And all those 11 years, I've tried my best to be loyal to him as a leader. There are times that he's doing very well, but he is not a good politician. A good politician will always be finding ways of accommodating everybody so that at the end of the day, his followers will be in government. If we are not in government, there is no way where our followers can enjoy the benefit of democracy. So he's only thinking of himself. He does not think of the followers. He's thinking that if he's, if he's comfortable, all other members of the party are also comfortable. He's not a good politician. That is my observation of him. But having been together for 11 years, I would say that maybe he has put all the names of the of the leaders in, in, in his camp into a calabash and covered it up. I think the calabash has just opened now to let us out. Because when I think of it during this lockdown, I sat down and I think and think, how could I ever be linking myself with somebody who does not know anything about um, politics. It is said that knowledge is light. I believe very much so. I have the knowledge of um, politics and my profession. I do not know. The knowledge Buruji Kashamu possesses is a business knowledge. He knows a lot about business, whether legitimate or not. And I know he is a good businessman as far as his businesses are concerned, but he is not a good politician. That is the only thing I've seen in him in all the years. On the sales of the party in Ogun State to the Adebutu family, for 50 million and 100 million naira, as claimed in different reports, that became his essence for singing song of reconciliation. I have just mentioned it, that even people that know that I have my integrity, they know that I would never collect money because of whatever, in, for whatever reason, from anybody to change my mind. Once I make up my mind to do something, I always follow it up. All I am doing with um, uh, Honorable Ladi Adebutu is trying to put together Ladi Adebutu group and Buruji Kasham group. Putting two groups together does not involve any monetary transaction. It is only if I say it publicly that I am no longer in Muruji Kashamu group, but I am now in Ladi Adebutu group. It is only then that I can be given money. But what I am doing is negotiating on behalf of Buruji group, I will be negotiating with elders of the party, with the elders of Ladu group, and come to conclusion. If I collect money from anybody, how then will I be able to represent my group in, in the sharing of positions? I did not collect a penny from Ladi Adebutu. Engineer Bayodaya reacted to Senator Buruji Kashamu's claim that over 500 million has been collected from him in the last five years for the administration of PDP in the state without proper accountability. 2015, we generated about uh, 436 million for the, for the national headquarters. They collected the money 
are supposed to pay us a little bit of uh, 40 million, they pay 20 million. For that 20 million, we are asked to pay for legal fees through the Omoru Foundation. So that's the way, that was the way most of the money went. And of course, there are some people who couldn't afford to pay for their funds. We pay from that. I don't know what you tell you, we pay half of this money. Because I think we are the We pay fully the money. Even Blue Jukasham is printing out various sums of money that I collected from him. What we collect from Blue Jukasham monthly is 475,000 Naira for the running of the party in Ogun State. The 475,000 after paying the security officers and the staff of the Secretariat, we have only 90,000 Naira left, of which I take 5,000, 50,000 for my petrol and give 40,000 to the State Secretary. Samuel Shodipo can confirm this. But for him to be talking of thousands and millions, I have a lot to say, but I am not going to say anything now than to say that the only money we have ever collected in the account of PDP is 32 million Naira from the National Secretariat when we sold nomination forms for them in 2015. We sent for, uh, about 432 million to the National Secretariat. That is the money for all the nomination forms sold on behalf of the National. After remitting the money, they sent to us 32 million Naira as our commission, it was transferred into PDP account in Open State. And we have three signatories to the account, myself, the secretary, and the treasurer. So there is no way where I can take party fund without the knowledge of the secretary and the treasurer. I don't know whether the money was given to me by hand or it was sent into my account. I have only one account and I can show it any time, any day, if any fund is going into my account from PDP account. That is the situation. I never collect any money from him, and no matter whatever intimidation I'm receiving from Guruji Kashamu, I would never change my mind. I would never change from going on with this unification and unite the party before my exit in another one month's time. Why did Engineer Bayodayo describe Senator Buruji Kasham as a bad politician? Because it was a tenure of um, imposition. We never had any free and fair primary. Buruji Kasham is the alpha and is the old bigger. He put people in offices. We never had an open primary, but he just gave the ticket to whoever he wishes. And that is what happened. It is only in a situation where people are allowed to contest free of charge without going to, without any imposition. It is only then that the party will get money. But he did not allow the party to get any money because he is imposing all the candidates. Even in some places where we tell him that what he has done, those candidates cannot win any election. He said he does not mind if we lose election at that particular local government. And that is what affects the... the Buruji Kashamu is the Alpha and Omega that we have been following all these years. And it is only God that thinks this is the right time for us to free our people. All our followers that have been suffering in silence, this is an opportunity for them to come out and participate fully in the politics of PDP in Ogun State. And I think by doing that, PDP has a chance of winning the election in any for any office in Ogun State. Thank you. What becomes of the party primaries that were claimed to have been conducted under Engineer Bayodayo's leadership 
has the state chairman in view of the reconciliation move? Both the world and the state congresses has been cancelled by me. I have written a letter to that extent to INEC telling them that the congresses that were conducted were done in an error. We held the, the party, the World Congress at the beginning, then we had the local government Congress. But unfortunately, when I had that, the pronouncement of the two judges does not allow me to conduct any Congress. Then I have written a letter that the Congress, the Congresses, the two Congresses has been cancelled and that directives will come at the appropriate time from our national executive to tell us when to conduct the next Congresses after the lockdown. Above all, the ongoing reconciliation of all factions in the party will make a formidable and strong PDP in Ogun State. PDP, power to the people.